suppose I live with this sister and she's not behaving right with me. She is my family member. She's not behaving right with me. So my outside is not my way. But once I start creating a thought, why is she always like this with me? How to live with this person? God knows what karma I did in my life to write her in my destiny. And we start, and, we, and then when we start creating thoughts, there are thousands of them. Now, the outside is not my way, but once I start creating these thoughts, my every thought is radiating to her, so her behavior is going to get? Her behavior is going to get? Sure? Certain? Her behavior will get worse than what it is now? What's the logic? It should remain what it is, right? But it won't remain. Nothing will remain where it is. Nothing will remain where it is if I'm thinking about it. Even these flowers, oh, they are real. Even these flowers, I checked, I thought it was little plastic. Even the plastic gets affected, but, but real flowers get affected very fast. Even these flowers cannot remain where they are if I start thinking about them. How many have experienced in their garden that the way they think and they talk to their plants, the plants change? Yes? See, we all have our experiences, but we see them as chota, 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 chota experiences. We don't see the power of the mind that everything is influenced by my thoughts. So even these flowers, if I continue to create pure and powerful thoughts for them, they're going to stay fresh much, 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 much longer. Now I just choose one option and I say, Matlab yellow flower. Yellow flower kon leke aata? I don't like yellow flower. If they had to buy flowers, at least they should have bought something prettier. How could they buy yellow flower? Yellow bhi koi color hai. When I'm creating these thoughts, you know what I think? It's only my thoughts. But what I do not realize is my every thought is now affecting this flower. And in my mind and in my feelings, I have started rejecting this flower. And this flower is going to get impacted by my negative thoughts about it. And then what happens when I keep creating those negative thoughts, the yellow flower starts becoming a little, it starts shriveling up, it gets a little dull. When it gets a little dull, my negative thinking increases about this. Batao, itna mehenga liya aur agle didi basa ho gaya. So I start complaining about the flower that it hasn't even lasted for four days. It's getting finished even the second day. So I do not understand that it's my thoughts which affected the flower. But again, I focused only on the outer world. And I said, today it's worse than yesterday. So when today it's worse than yesterday, my thoughts today became worse than yesterday. And when my thoughts today became worse than yesterday, then tomorrow this became worse than today. And tomorrow when it became worse than today, then tomorrow my thoughts became worse than today. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And we changed the world from Satyuk to Kalyuk only with this formula. But now if I start loving these flowers, and if I start saying nice things about these flowers, and if I start radiating pure feelings and blessings to these flowers, these flowers will start, these flowers will start looking prettier than what they are right now. That's the power of the human consciousness. So now, flowers to take care, but now let's come back to her who I have to live with every day. So she's not behaving right with me. And when I start getting upset and disturbed and irritated with her every behavior, then the conflict is not between us. The conflict is in my mind about her. So harmony and conflict is not what happens between two people or two things. Conflict and harmony is what we create inside about something. So that about something could be the flower, about something could be the person. I could be perfect in my words and behavior, but I'm not thinking right about her. 
and when i'm not thinking right about her i believe it's natural to not think right because she's not behaving right how can i think right about somebody who's not behaving right because i thought my thoughts are dependent on are dependent on their behavior and so as was their behavior so was my thinking but the equation will be as is my thinking so will her behavior be so now what to do now what to do you've chosen that one person i've chosen mine here what to do now what to do change my thought about her please help me to change my thought about her because i just can't see anything nice in her because she's not done anything nice to me she makes it a point to trouble me every single day she does it purposely to trouble me she knows how to irritate me every day i find nothing nice now what to think don't give me theory be positive about her help me to create the thought about her because i just am not able to do it now what should i think about her hmm she is a very nice person mujhe kuch bhi nice nahi dikh raha she is a very nice person haan ji it's my last birth's karma that's why she's behaving not nicely with me <laughs> then i start cursing myself and my last karma also yeah, that gives an understanding that it is my past birth karmas but what to do now what to do now please remember my thought influences the flower if i look at the flower and think the flower gets worse if i think what i want the flower to be the flower will start becoming the way i want it to be what should i think about her maybe she has a reason for that she has a reason for not being nice to me that's not going to create a solution i want her behavior to get better with me i want to shift my relationship from a conflict to harmony because if you notice check any relationship in which there is a conflict it doesn't stay where it is a conflict can never stay where it is it can either get or it can get better depending on how we are thinking about the other person so it can't remain where it is rishton mein gaant jahan hai wahan reh nahi sakti ya to gaant khul sakti hai ya to gaant which means the conflict can either get worse or the conflict can get resolved all depending on how i'm thinking about her i have the power i should channelize my thoughts so give me a simple thought that i should create for her use the first three words we want to create in the world peace love happiness now what thought should i create for her love so what's the thought love her her no i have not able to love her right now i need to create a thought think about them just look at them think about them nothing is right right now nothing nothing is right if someone's going to tell me love this person i'm not even going to like the person who tells me to love this person and i'm going to tell them why don't you go and tell her something about it why are you here to tell me what i have to do and we reject people who tell us all these things at that time and we love the people who come and sympathize with us and we say oh i understand you are having to live with such a difficult person and we call them our friends thank you so much for understanding what i have to go through so we like those people now just think this is the person 
not behaving right with me. I've tried, they're still not behaving right with me. Don't know what problem they have with me. I cannot resolve the problem. I've tried talking before, it didn't work. Now. There they are. Think of the good times we spent together. I'll start crying today if I start thinking of the good times. I have to change my present. I can't go and live into the past. How many of us can think of the past and start crying about it then? Because then we're again going into a negative thought which says, Wo din kitne achhe the. The past was so beautiful, which means my present is not beautiful. Then that's not a nice thought because I'm not in harmony only with people. I'm also in a relationship with time. Our relationships are with a lot of things. We also share a relationship with time. So if every time I say the past was very beautiful, I am rejecting my present. Never ever reject time. Never ever reject time. Never ever criticize or complain about time. Because if I disrespect time, time then disrespects me. Because I'm in a relationship with time also. So never say to the present, the past was very beautiful. Never say to the present, the future will be very nice. Treat time like another entity. It's like telling your present, one person, that the other person was beautiful or the next person will be beautiful. You are not. So we are in a relationship with time. So no jumping to the past or to the future. My present is beautiful. Next. Forgive her. Very nice. What else? Hanji? Yes, very nice. I have to send her blessings. So that's all that I need from you. Give me the blessing that I should send her. <laughs> Absolutely, I have to send her blessings. And blessings means my every thought about her, my every word about her. You know, when we have an issue about people, we're not only thinking about them, we're talking about them. So now what happens? I'm not happy with her behavior. I start thinking wrong. And then whatever is on my mind, I start going and talking to. And when I start going and talking to other people, then I have taken the conflict to another level altogether. The safest thing, that's why it's in steps that you have to protect yourself. Even if there's a conflict inside, don't go and talk to people about it. Because once I start talking to another person, she's like this, she's like this, she's like this. Now, not only my mind is impure, now I've taken that and put it on. It's like the prashad we give everybody. I'll go and give it to everyone. We talk to so many people about people. And that will only entangle the conflict. Because now the vibrations are not only on my mind, now the vibrations are also on their mind. And the best part is they will not keep it to themselves. Intention may be very pure. So even if I have a problem with my spouse and I go and talk to my mother, then my mother will not keep it to herself. Out of love, and a pure intention to care, she will first go and talk to my father, then she will go and talk to my sibling, and then everyone will sit and talk together. And everyone creates one thought. There's a problem in their relationship. And then you know what? Everyone sends that blessing. Everyone sends that blessing. Unki aapas mein ban nahi rahi hai. There is a problem in that relationship. Now try however hard to make that relationship work. You have so many people sending you the blessing. There is a problem in this relationship. There's a problem in this relationship. So be very careful who you go and talk to. We should go and talk about our issues only to those people who are able to create the highest vibration thought for our low vibration situation. 
because what they will do with that highest vibration thought is they will raise that highest vibration thought radiate it to me i will raise my vibration thought and then i will radiate it to the relationship and then i will resolve that relationship but if i just go and talk random to family and friends and then they are concerned and they start talking to each other very soon it's like an echo it goes and then the problem doesn't remain what the problem was because we have created so many thoughts about it this happens about relationship this happens about people's health go and tell five people that you're not feeling well today just go and tell them you know what i'm not feeling very well today and then they will bless you oh you're not feeling well today then they will go and tell five more people don't trouble her today she's not feeling well today and those five people out of love and respect will create a thought oh, take care of her she is not feeling well today and within 5 minutes i will have 100 thoughts which say to me i am not feeling well today it's very risky so i don't tell people i'm not feeling well today because energy manifests no it gets multiplied we are not seeing the power of the thought people go to the hospital they meet people who are not well they say to them take care i'm sure you'll be fine very soon but what do they think inside such a young age this is what has happened to them who will take care of their business who will take care of their children these are very low vibration thoughts that they gift us and they go away not because intentions are questionable it's just that they don't know that their low vibration thoughts impact our healing impact our healing so you have to be very very careful nowadays we've got into our habit of sharing our problems with everybody sharing our problem will never solve the problem but sharing a problem can definitely escalate a problem because sharing the problem means everybody creating a thought about the problem and everyone's thought is going to be based on their sanskar so out of a pure intention you go and share something with your parent but your parent is a parent who worries too much suppose then the parent is going to create more low vibration thoughts than your actual problem because their sanskar is to worry if you go and share it with a friend who has a sanskar to criticize then they will criticize about that problem so what people are going to think about what we share with them is going to be based on their sanskar their perception so if you want to share a problem you will need to share it with share it with with someone who's going to create a high vibration thought about that problem but you know where that person lives do you know where that person lives who can create that high vibration thought about your problem here here so even if you're not feeling well even if your relationship has an issue even if everyone around you is saying there is an issue there is an issue you start saying to the world everything is perfect just say it just say it even if it's not the truth and make everyone else believe and say it everything is perfect everything is perfect everything is perfect everything is perfect thousand thoughts will reach to you everything is perfect and you will shift towards perfection that's the power of the human mind but if i have this much of a problem and i go and tell everybody problem 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 and everyone says problem badi problem bahut problem badi problem the problem will go from here to here so take care take care of the energies you create and take care of the energies you invite into your life because not everyone will be able to create a high vibration thought about your issue but we sit very casually and talk about our life to people you can casually sit and tell a person oh you know what my business is going through this and this and this and the last 6 months have not been very good whatever efforts i make there seems to be no reason i thought i was just talking and sharing finished i've planted the seed there for them to think about it and then i go back next day and i start working hard but i don't realize that 10 people have started sending me a thought 
their business is not doing well, their business is not doing well. Why do I want to invite these energies into my life? Where is the solution? So first, I raise my thought. If I raise my thought, I raise my vocabulary. If I raise my vocabulary, what I convey about my issue to other people changes. And when I convey a high vibration to them, they will create a high vibration thought. Then they will create a high vibration word. And very, very soon, all of us will be blessing that situation. <laughs>